Hello and welcome back to another edition of Check It Out. Okay friends, gonna do a little unboxing for us today. So my kids, I've got an eight, five, and one year old. So we go through these portable DVD players in the back of our vehicles. I'm gonna say we can kill one of these in about a year on average and we've gone through about five of them so far. So I'm learning my lessons to buy a little bit nicer ones and really read those reviews closely when I purchase them. I bought all of them online. If you look in the description down below this video, I'll show you um, where I purchased these guys at. So, this one, it seems like bang for the buck wise, it gets nice reviews, nice big nine inch uh, screen on it. And let's take a little look, see what we got in here. All right, some nice directions here. Got our box of goodies. Let's see what kind of chargers they give us. Sweet, little remote control. You know, in my family, we will use this, love it, and lose it after about two weeks. We'll see how long it lasts for. I know, I'm so cynical. Lots of cords. All right, all right. All right, so there's the charging cord. Plug it into the cigarette lighter. Of course, if you're my age, we call it a cigarette lighter. Looks like some old-fashioned RC cables. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna use that guy. Oh, this is awesome. This is another feature of why I bought this one. So some of them only are coming with like this guy to, to use this in your vehicle. But for me, I really like being able to plug this guy in and try it out here. So I think this is really nice that we can use it in the house or they can use it in the car. All right, let's keep diving in. Get rid of that box. So again, while I'm opening it, um, pretty solid reviews. Seems to be a pretty good one. Looks pretty nice. Looks good, looks good. Looks like relatively easy buttons here too as far as operation goes. Let's take a look at some of this stuff here. So nice, easy, power on, power off, and uh, plugging it in right here. And then the headphones, so my kids are getting old enough that they're using headphones now, so it looks like it's got a nice little spot for that guy too. And USB and SD cards. Uh, we're not gonna really use that stuff in my family, but anyway, it's got it on there if you wanted to know. All right, guys, let's plug it in, give it a go. All right, so we're up and running. It was as easy as putting in a disc, turning it on over here on the side, and it looks like it's up and running pretty good. All right, I'll show you a couple more things here. I'll have my cameraman hold this for a second. And here's what's kind of nice about this DVD to player too. Most of them in the cars will do this, but you can kind of turn it like this, or we can turn it this way all the way around, and then we're gonna fold it closed. So one thing is don't lose the remote control because here's all your controls right here. So we're gonna close this guy up here, and now we'll kind of run it by the remote control. And then we can slip it into this guy right here. So this is a really nice holder so that you can put it on the back seat well, put it on the back of the front seat for the kiddos, so this holds it really well. We've done a, uh, a couple of these different ones. This one has a really nice little clasp system that goes on the back of the headrest, so it works really well. We've got a Honda and also a Toyota, and it really works well for those kind of uh, headrests. So that's set up here, and then also each one of my kids has their own headphones. These are my daughters right here. They work really well, surprisingly uh, pretty well built considering they're not too expensive. And you just plug this guy in right here, and now the kids are all set to go. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit like, and don't forget to check out that description, and I'll put links to where I bought the DVD player, the case, and also these headphones. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.